what do you do when you're aware of something for someone else? This question is coming up repeatedly in our uh, free group, The Conscious Empath on Facebook. Uh, you know, people saying things like, uh, you know, I'm aware of, you know, a friend, uh, you know, not making a good choice in relationship, or I'm aware that someone is choosing something that is going to create a lot of chaos in their life, or it feels really heavy, or it scares me, or so on and so forth. And I want to talk about that today. There's so many different aspects of this. Okay, but ultimately, unless someone specifically comes to you and asks you for advice, what do you do when you're aware of something from someone? You don't do anything. You really don't. You don't, you don't, you don't obsess about it. You don't worry about it. You, you understand that we are all infinite beings and we all have infinite choice and we all have things that we are learning and shifting and changing and growing. You know, if, if you look at your own life, I can guarantee you that majority of your greatest growth and change and possibilities and, and shifts in your life came from a situation that didn't end up the way that you had hoped or planned. Your largest awarenesses and your biggest life changes revolve around when you made a choice that wasn't your best choice. That's when I've learned the most. When I've struggled the hardest is when I have transformed my life at the core. Some of my most deafening experiences on this reality have brought me to where I'm at right now. We have no idea what someone else's path is. We have no idea what struggles they need to go through to learn and shift and change. That's what this whole existence is all about. It's about shifting and changing and transforming and learning and growing. You can't take someone else's growth away from them. And, you know, I've seen a few people that have posted, you know, people don't listen to me. I know all this stuff and no one believes me. It's not that people don't believe you. The thing about sharing information like that is if you are sharing it from a place where people aren't even like ready or they can't receive it because they need to go through that path or whatever. They're going to just make you wrong. You know, I can say as an empath, I used to practice work as a intuitive, as a psychic. Okay. And because I did know things, I knew things about people. I knew things they should choose. I knew things that they should do, or at least what I could see, right? But as I went through that experience, I realized how really disempowering it is to tell someone. Because then what happens? Have you ever had somebody tell you not to do something or not to choose something and so you did the opposite and then you felt terrible and awful and bad because you should have done what you wanted to do in the first place, but you didn't do it because someone else told you not to do it? It goes both ways. So now, as the conscious empath, I really practice not telling people what I'm aware of about their life, not sharing information, but inviting people into question, question their choices, question what they're doing, find how to expand your life in a way where when you look at a choice, you know if that choice is heavy or light. When you when you go to choose something, you ask some questions, you get to what's going to create the most for you. Because isn't this what it's all about? It's about creating the most for each of us. But the thing is, is not everyone wants to create the most in their life. And that's okay too. Like we're all on our own journey. We're all doing our own thing. And you know, I will tell you that if you are insistent and in sharing your awarenesses, then do a job where you're getting paid to share your awarenesses for people. Don't just go around spewing it to people who don't want it because all they're going to do is make you wrong. And then you're going to spend your life feeling terrible and awful and bad, potentially like you are right now. So what do you do when you're aware of something for someone else? Keep it to yourself. Unless... They came to you specifically and asked you. And even if they do come to you specifically and ask you, 
you have to release the outcome on that. You can't be angry or mad if they don't choose what you told them. I know I went through a period like that in my life, especially when I was younger, my early 20s, when I was getting into psychic work, I was really getting into being an intuitive. I was, people were paying me, they were coming to me, they were paying me money to give them information. And then I would be so angry when they didn't follow my advice. I mean, I got over it. I shifted and transformed through that real quick. And then I went through periods where I did give information to people and I would get salty when they didn't cho choose it. I was that person for a minute in my life. But now I realize that so much bigger than what I'm aware of, so much bigger than this is right and this is wrong, this is good and this is bad. Everyone is on their own path, on their own journey. Everyone is growing for their own soul's growth. If you're wondering what you should do when you know something about someone, telling you right now you should learn how to keep your mouth shut. It's the best for everyone. If you are insistent that you really feel this inner yearning to share that information, then put yourself out there as an intuitive and have people pay you for that skill. Don't just freely share it. It'll never be received.